Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my sniper rifle. Ugh. Here it is. It's pretty darn long. And kind of fragile, but it's a sniper. We gotta be careful. I had the stand on, and this is it without the stand. <laughs> Here it is. As you guys know, it's the it's a mixture of the um, Advanced Warfare Moors. It's the mi uh, mixture of the Call of Duty Ghosts um, L18A1 and Maverick Sniper Rifle, and also a mix of the um, well, I mean, not the L18A1, the USR in Call of Duty Ghosts, and the L18A1 from Modern Warfare 2. So, here it is. I can tell you what the mixtures are about. So, it has the Maverick A2 stock, as you can see. It has the body of an L18A1 you guys can see it it has the um, I forget what this is called but the slide so it has the slide the bolt the bolt that's what it's called the bolt it has the bolt I forgot for a little bit so anyway and another L18A1 piece actually is the muzzle. As you guys can see, it's actually kind of fat. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than it's fat. So, yeah, it's kind of fat. And what I used was just these little angled pieces that you just hang off the side of something and then you can attach other pieces on to the side and that's what I used and I guess these holes on the top could be used for like cooling down the barrel and and I for the USR I mean yeah yeah the USR I keep on forgetting the USR it has the scope USR scope. It has the USR bolt and the USR hand rest thing right here. I don't know what it's called, so I'm just calling it hand rest or a grip. One of those two. Anyway, there's that. And then there is two, three rails. Um, here's one, other one's on the other side right here, and then the scope is on the top one right there. Ugh. Here, let me do something really fast. My scope broke, so I have to fix it. Whatever. Anyway, here's the gun with no attachments, and it does have flip-up iron sights. It has two different sights. It has the long-range sights. Here, let me take this and bring it. Okay, it's going to be upside down, so be warned again. So pretty much you look down at it like that. 
that orange piece is where you're gonna shoot and the second sight is you flip that down and flip this down and you can already tell that it's gonna be this piece and this piece and I'm gonna flip it upside down again so oh. here it is the sights kinda hard to see yeah so like that is about what it has to be that's the short range sights Actually, no, swap them, swap them, actually. Um, this is the long range, and then the other is the short range. Or, yeah. Short range, long range, okay. Okay, I didn't want, I, wa I didn't want anyone to get confused, so I had to make sure. And then, I can show you guys all the functions. Of course, this is a bolt action sniper rifle. Because most of the variants are. Oh, is it upside down? It's upside down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, um, so here it is, blah blah blah. And the. It's a bolt action, like I said. I'm showing you the features, and what the features are is muzzle. That's going to be the first feature. It's a really cool muzzle. It has the working bolt right here, right in this hole. I think you guys can see it, but it moves inside wait hold on yeah but you guys can see that those pieces right there I don't know I don't know if you guys can see it or not but let's just say it has a shell ejecting port shell ejection port right here and pull it back push it back forward and you can shoot and it actually has a lock right here so that it doesn't like slide or anything when it's like this so well it's not necessarily a lock but like when you it does that, that function. So that's pretty much what that is. Sorry. And flip it up, pull it back. Oh, shoot. <laughs> anyway, what I did with the slide is I took a whole bunch of smooth pieces and put them on the bottom right here to make it smoother, to slide easier. And then I used these. Um, this clear piece, because that's what I had available to make it stable, and it also lifts it. I had it on, I had it like this with the clear piece on the bottom, and it had some space showing. So with it like this, it's a lot easier or a lot better, because there's not as much space showing. And if you guys could see this, you guys would think it's pretty cool. Um, this shell ejection port is really cool because it works I mean it doesn't actually eject the shells but like you can see how it works anyway you guys probably want to see the mag so by the way this is another function feature whatever it has a removable mag So here it is. Um, the yellow, I guess you can say it's the bullet. I don't know. I just had it like that. And then, I don't know if you guys can see. 
but there's actually the hole right there and you just put it in like that and it slides in enough you guys might not be able to see it but there's actually yellow inside those holes right here and that's the that's the magazine yeah I don't know if you guys can see it but it's the magazine inside there so here's the magazine another I forgot to mention another feature of the gun or another mixture part is it has the L18A1 um, mag, the five round L18A1 magazine, and it has these iron sights are custom, but they're still a great feature. Uh, this is a custom weapon, so I could add whatever I want. It's, the front sight broke, so I'm trying to fix it. Okay. So, I can list all the features. Muzzle. Flip up iron sights. It has long range right here. Whoops. The sight broke, so I have to fix it. Anyway, I have, or no, this is short range. I have short range right here. And then I have long range right here. And so muzzle, flip up sights with long and short range. Working shell ejection, or bolt, working bolt. And pretty good design, actually. Um, a removable magazine. Um, halfway working shell ejection port on the other side, right there. Although you guys can see it, that gray, it's pulling back because I am pulling on the um, bolt. So yeah, working halfway working because it doesn't eject shells, but it still gets pulled back. Um, it has the thumb hole. It's actually kind of comfortable. And has a scope. I was thinking about making a bipod, but it wasn't going to work out. Anyway, here's the scope. It's a pretty good design of a scope, actually. This gun is so long, it just hit the camera. <laughs> I didn't even know. Didn't mean to, either. And then, for the mixtures, Maverick A2 stock. Um, L18A1 thumb hole. Well, actually, no, this all right here is Maverick, Maverick A2, L18A1 mag, um, L18A1 bolt, USR scope, um, custom iron sights, um, USR hand, handle thing grip, I guess, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, for the other features, two, three tactical rails. One on one side, one on the other, and then one on the top. And another mixture is the um, L18A1 muzzle. And the moors, yes, it has a mixture of the moors. And the reason why is because when I hold it like this, the body right here, like all the body on this side, this side, and across the thick body, it all looks like the moors when I hold it. Just not the front necessarily because the barrel's a lot bigger. So that's the mixture of the moors. And since you upload this after 
you do the video. I do not know the name right now, but it will be on the title. You guys will see it before you watch this video. And you're watching it now, and you already know. So, I don't know the name right now, but when I upload it, I will put on the name, or put the name in the title. And the description. And thumbs up for my best Lego gun. Well, in my opinion, my best Lego gun, my longest Lego gun, and one of my most functioning Lego guns. So, comment on what you think of this gun. Write on what you think of this gun, like, rate it, like, dislike or like the video, and subscribe for more of these types of guns, I guess. Um, anyway, here it is. Hope you guys like it. If you want to see it with a full view, pause the video here. And I will see you guys in another video with Advanced Warfare gameplay. Okay? So I'll see you guys next time.